Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Open Core Legacy Patcher and Mac OS Ventura support for unsupported Macs. There was some exciting news today shared by Macola, who is the lead co-developer of Open Core Legacy Patcher. And this will be my second update video when I first talked about the current status. And since then, there's been a lot of hard work that has been put into getting Mac OS Ventura working on older unsupported Macs. We're also going to talk about when Mac OS Ventura could be released to the public and what that's going to look like for you. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. Let's first get caught up on the current status of Open Core Legacy Patcher and Mac OS Ventura support. Ventura was released early in June. On Monday, June 6th, was WWDC. The developers, including McCullough, jumped right into seeing what Apple changed with Beta 1 of Ventura. And they were disappointed to see that Apple actually made a lot of changes. While this might make the operating system and installation and other parts reliable or adding new features, this caused a lot of problems with the patcher. And it was pretty disappointing to see because the developers looked at this and they said, wow, this is going to take a lot of work. So when we look at the current situation of where we are on the calendar, here we are in the late into August. So the developers have been working on this for almost three straight months. And there has been some progress made, and that's what I wanted to update you on today. So McCullough put out a tweet today with some wonderful news, and I'll read it to you. After many months of work, we've finally gotten Mac OS Ventura running on legacy metal GPUs. This includes an early 2000 Mac Pro with a NVIDIA Kepler card. And if you've seen from the problems on the recent Monterey updates, we had some problems with Kepler, so it's really nice to see that working. And on a 2012 Mac Mini, 2014 Mac Mini, and even a 2014 5K iMac. And he posts a screenshot of each machine here, and that's just amazing news to see that working. It's one thing to get it installed. You'll see that people have been able to get it installed, but to get acceleration running to make the graphics cards work properly, that's a whole nother story, right? So right off the bat, he continues on here and he wants to say that there's a props talking about some of his development teams. That's a sentient bot and Edu Kavoas for working through this with him and especially a sentient bot without his amazing work on DSCE, we wouldn't be able to get Ventura acceleration today. He spent so much work working on this amazing repo. What a sentient bot created was DSCE, which is an extractor tool for DYLD cache. So binaries can be ripped from Monterey to be able to get the files needed to be able to continue developments. So when we look at that GitHub, this is the extractor tool that ACNT bot created to be able to get those files. It's absolutely amazing. And without this, a lot of the development would have had to be put on hold. So this is an amazing breakthrough and wonderful work by ACNT bot. McCullough put a wonderful article together to share all of the issues that the developers are working on to try to get Ventura working with Open Core Legacy Patch on unsupported Macs. And before we continue, I wanted to make sure that you just are aware that it is not recommended to install Ventura right now. When Ventura is released for initial testing for beta, I will definitely put out a video so you'll be aware of that going on. There is articles and videos out there showing you how to install Ventura on your unsupported Mac. But again, from the developers themselves, this is not recommended at this point. Even though Macola and the developers have made some amazing achievements here, it is still recommended to hold off while work continues to make it more solid and easy for you to install. So again, I'll update when that happens. But with that known, you can see the list of all of the issues that are going on right now. Removing support for all this stuff, including USB stack, USB maps, Ethernet support, different shared cache, on-disk binaries, Haswell, Broadwell, Skylake graphics stack. So much of the stuff has been removed that has caused problems with the development here. Now, the best part is, is that when you scroll all the way down here, McCullough just put a new update here for alpha support for, again, the closed beta testing. With recent re success of the graphics acceleration on Mac OS Ventura, which is what we're talking about today, we're trying to get OpenCore Legacy Patcher prepared for public testing hopefully soon. However, as Ventura has changed much of the Patcher landscape for us, there is still some critical issues that we need to work through to get current the current Patcher working, including 
additional work with graphics acceleration, KDK requirements, and CPU requirements. For graphics acceleration, Legacy Metal. With the advent of Asyntian's Mods DSCE, which we talked about earlier, we've been able to restore Legacy Metal support for many Macs in Ventura. Currently, we've only been able to verify the following GPU architectures as functional in Ventura. AMD, Kepler, and Ivy Bridge. The current known issues, the screensaver is not working, there's some scrolling issues, and there's some screen recording not working. And those are going to be worked on later, but again, initial support was the main goal here. On non-metal, as of this writing, we currently have zero support for machines with non-metal GPUs. With the introduction of Stage Manager, Apple has implemented a new layer called Window Manager that handles window occlusion, spaces, and such. Because this moves much of the logic from Skylight into Window Manager, and this is triggered via XPC calls, non-metal Skylight from Mojave will not work as is. The team will need to re-implement Skylight to Window Manager interaction if we wish to support non-metal on Ventura. There is no time estimate given for this. So non-metal, remember, is anywhere around 2011 all the way back to 2008. So not all hope is lost for those models yet. But what this is saying is for those models, the development work will be a difficult road ahead and will take some time. Again, the main focus is on metal-compatible GPU Max from 2012 to 2017. These are main models that have been dropped in the last couple of years, even though they have metal compatible video cards. But well, let's talk about the, those requirements here for the initial testing. If you want to be able to test once it becomes available, the CPU requirements, as mentioned in earlier issues, Ventura drops native support for CPUs lacking AVX 2.0. This means that if your machine has an IV bridge or older CPU, it cannot run Ventura as is. If you're familiar with swapping out the DYLD shared, you may try to run Ventura. However, no proper support will be provided at this time. For the time being, these units will be properly supported with the patcher on Ventura. iMac 14 comma plus, MacBook 8 comma 1 plus, MacBook Air 6 comma plus, MacBook Pro 11 comma plus, and Mac Mini 7 comma 1. Well, this is really exciting how far the patcher has come for Ventura, not even three months ago, how bad things were looking. Again, there's still going to be some challenges. There's going to be a little bit of a change around the installation process and maybe software updates, but... Again, we're, the fact that we've gotten so far, the developers have done such a wonderful job putting all this together is an absolutely amazing achievement. I can't sing enough praises for all the developers' work so far. This is absolutely amazing. Now, let's talk a little bit about when the public release of Mac OS Ventura will come out. Now, there's initial talk about a iPhone only event in early September here. So you can see where we are here in August, the first week of August. They're saying, uh, the people who are releasing rumors about it, and they're pretty close here, they're saying that there might be a release of the iPhone event anywhere between the first or the second week of September. And the other rumors are, is that iPadOS and macOS Ventura will be released sometime in October due to the problems with Stage Manager. And that'll be great, because because Mac OS Ventura right now, as beta 5 and probably tomorrow or this week will be beta 6, is still having a lot of issues. So it does need some time and does need some work for the Apple engineers to get Ventura in a proper state before public launch. With that said, we'll have to see where, again, Open Core Legacy Patcher goes in uh, a time where we can possibly test this. Even when it's available for testing, I still would recommend maybe holding off a little bit, let a couple of the initial beta testers test to make sure it'll shake it out. Again, the more people install it the more issues might come up and we want to just hold a little bit even though you might be excited about installing it but again when that time comes out i'll put out a video and i'll show you how to do it and i'll give you a full walkthrough on how to do it so you can give it a test out Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up or a share. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, you can click on that Mr. Macintosh logo there and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Classic2 underscore Mr. Mac. And I also wanted to thank my Patreon members. You guys are absolutely fantastic and I truly appreciate you. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.